Hi folks, T Witty here. Welcome back to Let's Play Drakengard. I hit the wrong button. Last time when we left off, we were um we were about to start a new story chapter, chapter 11 after completing a long series of unlocks that I think ultimately results in us Square Enix. getting to the Sky Fortress faster in this alternate story branch. We're getting close to the end of this game, which is pretty exciting because it's by far the longest series I've done so far. There's just a whole lot of content here. And, you know, to be honest, it's not getting a whole ton of views, but... I mean, I'm playing an old, old uh, PS2 game, and there's probably not a whole lot of interest in it, but the uh, there will be interest in Nier, and I feel like for my own edification, I want to play the entire series, and if I play a game, I aspire to full completion. This is what I do, it's how I am. Chapter 11, Partings, verse 1, Maze. Kaim faces the Imperial enemy within the Sky Fortress. He strikes through the monsters to find the goddess. Chapter 11, the Sky Fortress. Chapter 11, Partings. Kaim reaches the heart of the Ocean Fortress, but Furii has already been taken away. Now Kaim must search the fortress in the sky and free the goddess. Within the Sky Fortress. Kaim, I have been flown to a different place. Let us both search for the goddess. <laughs> Let's not delay any further. Kill the soldiers and race to the goddess. I'm doing my best. I barely remember what weapon this is. Magic immune, so I gotta be careful of that. This place, it is like the Sky Fortress. Can you hear her voice? I thought it literally was the Sky Fortress. Wow. Okay, so yes, I do have my full clock time, so... That's good. I better switch to a weapon I'm better with.
I didn't actually. That was not the moment when I actually wanted to use magic again. Boy, I barely. I barely remember the controls on this game. The seals are broken. It shall be the end. The end. Let's go.
about me, but whatever. Again, talk about a fucking guy dang it moment. <laughs> if you want to unlock the weapon in here, you have to take the exact right path through the maze. And it'll spawn some enemies and a chest in that room in the northeast corner that was empty. Kyle, I have been flown to a different place. Let us both search for the goddess. Start again. Starting again. Same one. S more different S. That's that's a strong bad strong door reference. There was a time where if you were on the internet, you could say that you knew what home Star Runner was. That time is gone. Man, my knees and my my knees ache. This place, it is like the sky fortress. Okay, so All right, so we need to go this way. Can you hear her voice?
avoid the corner room. Just keep fighting these shield assholes for now. If the seals are broken, it shall. Then when we get here, what do we do? The end. This way. The end. Let's not waste the health chest this time. Thank you. Thank you for not tripping it before I'm ready. Game. Now if I... Going this way should spawn some enemies in this room. Yes, there they are. Alright. Treasure box has appeared. It's got a weapon. Now I can kill this asshole. Right. Now we can clear this floor and head upstairs. All's well. Get him! Zapped him one hit short of a full health chain. It's alright. Oh, fuck you.
clear. Just gotta keep that in mind as I pull on down the hallway. for the second floor. The seeds of resurrection come when the seals break. Do they bring good or evil? Well, based on the first few endings, it's pretty clear. We only have two endings left. The game still needs to get, like, extra monumentally fucked up to match its reputation. Alright, I need to pay attention now, because... There's a... Uh, second weapon to get. Mission. Two weapons in this single story chapter. I'm going to go back to the early pattern of weapon grinding in a whole separate episode. It's a story mission. I smell blood so close. <laughs> Ariosh, that's her name. Leonard Ariosh and Sarah. I really have to wait a while. It took me a minute.
shield, guys. Awesome. Gotta love it. Oh, come on now. What? Oh. It looked like he ran past me, but... Just got me from behind. Oh, come on now. This is getting absurd. Shouldn't be able to get out of range of my pole axe with that little single back step. That's more like it. Fuck you, buddy. Got him. Ordinary moves. Health farming. Good. Please and thank you. three floors in the dungeon missions. Let's head down to the third floor. But we will be back. Our second weapon spawns up here. As long as I don't screw up down there. I will not be happy if I have to start over at the beginning again with the second weapon. Down we go. <clears throat> Whoa. Got turned around. Oh my god, targets. The goddess has been taken to the inner sanctum of this fortress. I need to be very careful not to go through the door to the next area. Treasure box has appeared. Okay. Quickly to the goddess! The seal! The seal! Alright. Uh, you see, there's a truck. I am gonna have to play this twice. But this, uh, the second play, I'll be able to just rush the ending. <laughs> so I want to go back here and get the staff. So the way forward is to that target indicator there. Trying 
get a lot of mileage out of this map, I guess. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that... Um, weapon. We're gonna go to the main ending, the normal one. Which is going through the red door on the bottom level. And then I will have to come back through here to actually keep the story advancing. But I won't have to backtrack for the weapons again. So that's nice. Alright. We've got both weapons. We've already been playing 35 minutes, so I'm going to get to the end of the story mission, and that's going to be an episode, I think. Next one, we'll level up both of those weapons, then we'll proceed with our story branches. King's Blood. The magic attack is Thor's Flame. You obtained the weapon Edacious. The magic attack is Silver Solace. Alright, King's Blood. It's a sword. I haven't had one of those in a while. Alright, we'll unequip Dragon Hook. We'll equip King's Blood. Let's get our explanation. Attack strength 16, sharpness very fine, reach long, weight 1.5 kilograms, material steel, combo hits 5, next level 320 kills. Weapon, a light weapon that has a long reach but allows quick turns. Magic, a magic shaft pierces the ground to conflagrate all those who venture near. Weapon history, in ancient times this black sword once belonged to a mighty king who built a glorious empire. Under his wise and just rule, the Empire thrived and prospered, and knew no equal. And we also have a new staff, Edacious. We'll unequip the Philosopher's Staff. Attack Strength 8, Sharpness Edgeless, Reach Long, Weight 2.6 kilograms, Material Unknown, Combo Hits 3, Next Level 200 kills. Weapon. This staff has a long range, but its strikes are far from powerful. Magic. A magic corona of light appears and heals Kai in its center. Weapon History. This was the staff of a lean, thin wizard. His mean indifference and cold heart made him hated by the townspeople and his prejudices. Alright. I think that said 90%, didn't it? In the fortress, Kaim approaches the sanctum where Furiae is held a prisoner. But there, the priestess Mana is preparing for a final ritual. Yeah, weapons are at 90% now. That's awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bail out of this episode here because we so are. She still lives, but barely. We have little time left. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to reach the sanctum where Fury Eye is held. I'm gonna need to let I'm gonna need you to let me out of here. Thank you. All right, we're at 40 minutes, so 
I'm going to end this one here. The next one will level up our two new weapons. Then we'll come back to the story branches. So that's going to do it for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Guard. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you'll give it a like. Consider dropping a comment and subscribing to the channel. If you're interested, please check out my Discord and my Patreon. Those links are in the video description. But either way, I'm grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.